Well, hi everyone. A couple of days ago on July 29th, 2025, there was a massive 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake that was located off of Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. And based on some recent news, it appears that there was extensive damage at their Eastern submarine nuclear base. So I'm gonna go through that. What I like about this is you can use publicly source satellite data to find out what's going on with things that have military implications. So I think it's extremely interesting. So this earthquake occurred about 65 miles southeast of this naval base. And I may mangle a few of these Russian place names, hopefully not too bad. So this base is the Rybachi Naval Base for their nuclear submarines. And you can see that this is an active subduction zone off the coast of the Kamchatka Peninsula, there's been a number of earthquakes throughout that region, large magnitude earthquakes. This is the location of that naval base. We'll just kind of zoom in here. This is the Google map view. All right, let's look at the aerial view. So we'll zoom in here. So you can see off to the left, all these mooring piers associated with those nuclear submarines. Now this is a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see the aerial photo view and then the synthetic aperture radar view. So what we're looking at is in the upper right corner, you can see this pier, the submarine pier, that's more or less oriented in a north-south direction. And in the after earthquake image, you can see that it's essentially broken off and tilted at a 45 degree angle to the left. Just another view of that comparison with a caption here from that news article. And I've got the link to all these news sources in the description to this video if you want to check it out. And as I mentioned, this image came from Umbra, a satellite provider of synthetic aperture radar data. It's just another image of this uh, SAR data. You can see this broken off mooring pier. So the question is, were there any submarines that were moored to these piers at the time of the earthquake? Now, keep in mind, it wasn't the earthquake itself that did the damage to these piers, apparently, but most likely the resulting tsunami from that offshore earthquake. But also you could have some potential of liquefaction of the foundation soil supporting the pier. But again, in all likelihood, I suspect it was a tsunami that broke that pier. And of course, if there were any submarines that were moored to the pier at the time of the tsunami or the earthquake, you could imagine that there was a lot of jostling and potential for significant damage to those nuclear submarines. This is the earthquake intensity map from the USGS website. We can see for the area of this naval base, strong to very strong ground shaking was experienced. And in the Coral Islands to the south of the Kamchatka Peninsula, you could see that there was damage to a school here from that earthquake. It's been a rough year for Russia so far, militarily speaking, relative to their nuclear triad. The Ukrainians took out several nuclear bombers of the Russian Air Force in early June, June 4th, 2025, and destroyed a number of aircraft. Now they have another potential source of damage to their nuclear triad with these nuclear submarines at this naval base as a result of this earthquake and the following tsunami. Within hours of this earthquake, a stratovolcano about 200 miles to the north erupted. This is the Kluchiskaya Sopka volcano. It has an elevation of nearly 16,000 feet and relief of, again, over 15,000 feet. So it's a very tall stratovolcano. This is where it was located. Again, the distance from the naval base, about 200 miles. So the volcanic eruption didn't have anything to do or any impacts with the naval base, but it just shows you that there's a lot of geologic hazard in this region. So I'll continue to follow this story. I want to send a shout out to those of you who have contributed to buy me a coffee. That's a great way to support the channel. I also want to thank those of you who are channel members and certainly those of you who have contributed super thanks. That's additional ways to support this channel. So thanks very much, everyone.